Bangladesh's interim government, Muhammad Yunus, dialed Prime Minister Narendra Modi today and assured of security and safety of Hindus living in the country. This, remember, comes just a day after PM Modi raked the issue of violence against minorities, especially Hindus in Bangladesh, during his Independence Day speech. Meanwhile, in Delhi, large-scale demonstrations were held to protest against the violence against the Hindus in the neighboring state. We at Mirror now spoke exclusively with the former Chief Justice of Bangladesh and the first Hindu to occupy the position, Surendra Kumar Sinha. Listen in to that conversation. Even as the Bangladesh interim government was legal action against those who attack minorities, particularly Hindus, concerns still remain on the safety of those communities. In an exclusive conversation with Mirror Now, former Chief Justice of Bangladesh and the first Hindu to occupy the position, Surendra Kumar Sinha condemned the attacks and said, whenever there has been a political crisis in the country, the majority of the victims have been Hindus. There are, uh, there are few incidents. I condemned it, everybody condemned it, government condemned it. The army chief condemned it. We could not recognize any sort of vandalism, particularly against the minority community. Now, you will find whenever there is a crisis in the country, polit uh, political crisis. So to say, 1971. There also majority victims who are Hindus. Actually, the, the rape and killing were perpetrated against the Hindu community. Now, after the fall of Ersa, H.M. Ersat, he was also an autocrat. There we are, the minority communities we are attacked. And this time also, even the first Sheikh Hasina government's tenure, there are serious atrocities, vandalism. Talking about the protests that took place, Justice Sinha said the students were part of a revolution. Casting doubts on the current interim government, he said winning a Nobel Prize by Muhammad Yunus isn't the same as running a country. Professor Yunus is an internationally reputed person. He is known everywhere. He is an intellectual. He has written a lot of books and other things. But Nobel laureate, and to run states, these are two different things. I think Professor Yunu should have approached in other angle. Basically, he committed some mistakes. The mist mistakes here, the moment the student there, the revolution was successful on 5th, before Dr. Inus, the student leaders, they committed fundamental mistake without forming any revolutionary government on 5th. Practically, from 5th to 8, three days, that is 8 at the night, the caretaker government was formed. But there is a gap of about three days. There was no government in the country. A country should not run without the government. The student leaders should have formed a government. Then they would have kept Professor University Chief, yeah, but they would have formed a government. And it was the... As the ousted Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, indicated at an American involvement in the crisis, Justice Sinha said that a superpower can be behind it. I think I, it cannot be altogether ignored. The, some superpower had some role. They are, they, if they would have pulled the string behind the scene, understand what? 
pulling the string behind the scene because Sheikh Hasina was made for power. She made some remarks should not, which should not have uh, should have done in the manner about America and some other countries, superpowers. She did not care then. And if the Western countries had played a role behind this scene, I would not be surprised. Amid concerns rising for India over its security and illegal refugee influx, Justice Sinha told Mirror now that India can learn a lesson from its neighbor's situation. India is a big country, is a superpower now. It was a regional power in 1971. And Nixon told Kissinger, they were before in the India's intervention, that when Kissinger was aggressive, he told, it is you will find in the deep blood, Archer Blood's book, that after all, Kissinger, you see that after all, India is a regional superpower. Okay, now India is really a superpower. And Bangladesh is its neighbor. And because of India, Sheikh Hasina, manipulated elections in 2014, 2018, and 2024. And we digested all these elections and the international community also accepted it because of India. There is no doubt about it. So the student leaders, I, they are students, I, I don't know, but Professor Inus knows BNP knows. I think I'm not a politician. And I, as a jazz, I also believe that without cordial coexistence with India, it will be difficult for Bangladesh to survive. If India wa wants to create problem for Bangladesh, they can do. Because India has an influence, not only locally, but internationally. So I think the Bangladesh should maintain a good relationship with India. But by the same time, this relationship should be reciprocal. reciprocal. India also should show some gesture about cordiality. And this is one of the gesture for Indian uh, leaders to think about if we want to keep cordial relationship with Bangladesh, the, we should read the sentiments of the people of Bangladesh. The rampant attacks on the Hindu minorities in Bangladesh have sparked global concern. Yunus had earlier called the attacks on the minority communities heinous and urged the protesting students to protect all Hindu, Christian and Buddhist families from harm. From Bangladesh.